And two people and a pet rescued from a fire at an apartment complex in Tuscaloosa County. Tuscaloosa deputy, the hero who noticed that fire before midnight last night at the Inverness Apartments off of Highway 69. Brian Henry is live at Viav after talking to firefighters about how they were able to rescue these folks. Brian. Well, Jonathan Morgan, we do know that it happened last night around 1145, shortly before midnight. At this point, we do not have the official cause of the fire. A Tuscaloosa County Sheriff's deputy who was already on the scene helped rescue two people, and they were not the only ones saved. Just before midnight, 20 Tuscaloosa firefighters responded to this unit at the Inverness apartment complex, a working structure fire and a bigger challenge facing firefighters. We met with a deputy sheriff that was on the scene, letting them know that they, uh, he had assisted someone, uh, assisted with rescuing one person out of the building and that there was still someone inside the building. So our crews were able to simultaneously attack the fire and also uh, go in and, and help the, another victim out of the, out of the fire. Firefighters say both individuals suffer smoke inhalation, but no word on their medical condition today. The two people weren't the only occupants rescued and saved. Nowadays, everybody knows that the family pet is part. Their pet cat was found, given oxygen, and revived. So there was a uh, a cat that was in, in that was uh, there at the fire, and they were able to administer some oxygen. And uh, last I heard, uh, Cocoa Puffs was doing well. And pets can suffer from smoke inhalation. They're pretty resilient, uh, giving them some oxygen. Deputy Chief John Brooks says the fire was contained primarily to the attic. Brooks is just thankful he isn't talking about additional injuries or deaths because the potential for a real catastrophe was there. Firefighters fought and won the fight to contain the blaze in the attic. They, they worked really hard to stop the fire and, and once it got up into the attic. Two people rescued, a pet saved. No word today on what started the fire. Chief Deputy John Brooks says it's not unusual for Tuscaloosa firefighters to save animals every year here in the city. They have a special oxygen mask for pets, and with that special mask, they save around, on average, about 15 pets every year at structural fires here in the city of Tuscaloosa. In Tuscaloosa, Brian Henry, WBRC Fox 6 News, on your side.